Hello everyone, welcome back to this new episode of the uh, Acid Server Challenge. Um, in a previous video, we've performed port scanning, we've found a web service, uh, we've enumerated some paths, uh, we've got some hashes and uh, decoded some strings, but up until now, we haven't found um, any entry point. So, time to do some more enumeration and hopefully we can find something. Let's get started. If you're interested in learning more about these techniques, if you are interested in pursuing an ethical hacker career, then I encourage you to head over to academy.thehackerish.com. There you will find online courses that you can enroll to and just find a suitable course for you. It should give you a great start. All right, um, let's, um, let's go back to our challenge subfolder. I really think that we should explore this a little bit more. I mean, it's not usual to find this kind of event in the DOM. So I'm going to use grep.app, which is a great tool to uh, find source code. So I'm going to just paste this in and let's hope that we find something. What a luck. It seems that we have potentially found something here. It says PHP secure logging and it's a project for from frog. Okay. So what do we have here? Do you recognize anything from the previous HTML page? I mean, that's exactly the same form. So this is probably the uh, login page that's supporting this authentication feature. So let's do some code review. You know that I'm a fan of code review because it allows us to find a wider attack surface and increases our chances to find vulnerabilities. So in the documentation, we, oh, we have a username an email and a password. The code to create and populate the necessary tables is included in the secure login.sql file. Okay. And it populates the members table with a single user with the following details. Okay. I wonder what, uh, can we download this file? <laughs> yes, well, PHP my admin SQL dump. And what do we have here? Insert into members, username, email, password, and assault. And this is the hash. And this is the salt. Okay. Well, luckily for us, we have the plain text password. Let's hope that this is the one used uh, by default and it hasn't been changed. Okay, what about the email? Okay, and we are in. Let's save the password, we don't care. You have been logged into admin panel successfully. Cool, you are now close to your destination. Click here to proceed further. Well, finally, it's after all, it's not really a hell, but anyways, let's continue. I'm going to click on this link and we land on include.php, which says, it looks like you know your things. Yes, enter the file name, extract the file. Hmm. Okay, well, this is interesting because the first thing I think about is local file inclusion, which we've talked about in a previous uh, challenge. So I invite you to watch it in the uh, penetration testing playlist. So the idea behind this attack is to try to um, to load some files which we don't normally access from the web root. One of those classic files is etc pass wd. And so we have a limit imposed by the uh, Java uh, by the HTML max length. I'm just going to say, hey. I want 200. That way, 
I can type whatever I want. Pass WD. Let's try to extract it. And it's loading. Oh, did you see it? It was showing just a content of the, uh, what seems to be ETC pass WD, but it disappeared. Um, I wonder how we can find that. Maybe in the source code? So control U and yes, we get access to the file. So right away we can see we have some users like Sayman and Acid who have a bin bash in their shell and a bunch of other users. What if we tried like we've done before in the previous challenge where we uh, used the local file inclusion to run code execution? So I'm going to use the data modifier wrapper um, text uh, plane and then this is the code the PHP code I want you to run um, let's try with PHP info and click OK hmm seems that we have nothing here okay what about well we can read files so what can we read here well, we can read the source code of this page, like include.php or index.php. I wonder... Oh, what is this? It seems that it's a new um, ASCII string. Okay, let's try to decode it like we've done before. So, Python... And we want to decode this string in hex. Again, we have what seems to be a base64 encoded string. Let's echo it and pipe it to base64 decode. And uh, what is this? What I can learn here is that we have C, C. Imagine that this is a transposition of the letters. So if we, if we did have here P, that would be here a P. And so therefore, potentially, the U would become H. So we would have PHP. And this might be the name of the file. So what I can do is, first of all, I'm going to using Python, um, reverse the string. Okay, so this would become that. And then I'm going to apply a very known Caesar cipher rotation with the uh, offset 13, which is called draw 13. And sure enough, we land on a file name. Maybe this is a hint, so let's follow it. And this is what we're going to do in the next video. So stay tuned, subscribe to receive a notification when I publish the video. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.